Welcome to Tony Embroidery YouTube channel. Now I'm gonna show you how to use wide cap frame on a six needles machine. I'm going to show you how to using a wide cap frame on a six needle machine. The first thing we need to the way I am going to show you are not brother or baby lock dealers will let you using on your machine. It may cause machine broken and may cause you losing machine warranty from your dealer. Before you start trying this think about it multiple times and you are fully understood. We are not taking any responsibility once you've broken your own machine. Are you ready? Now let's start from remove the magnet from wide driver. The magnet will be detected by the green color sensor chip on x-axis arm. Brother and baby lock multi-needle machines are twins. They all use this magnet position to detect which hoop is in use. You can find the similar magnet on many hoops or drivers. Also many accessories are compatible to each other. You need some skills to be able to do this. First, you know how to control hoop sensor. Second, you need to know how to prevent cap drive hitting any part of machine case. Third, you need to know how to prevent the needle and needle press foot hit the cap drive metal. Let's install this wide driver on this PR670E machine. Remember, if you have the PR600 machine, it needs to upgrade the cylinder holder first to be able to use the newer cap drivers. Loosen the bottom screws a little bit. Put the cap frame into right position. Now tighten the screw. Then tighten the left side screw. Now tighten the top right screw. Then tighten the left side screw. Usually we are just tightening it. But right now we are using a metal hook that, that we made for pressing and holding the hoop sensor. If you don't know what is the tool we using, you can go to Tony Embroidery Facebook page to see the photo instruction. Now we tighten the screws. Wide driver is ready to work. You can see on the screen, my machine now detects the hoop as 180 mm by 130 mm hoop or bigger hoop. This is how you get larger sewing field from the machine. Now we are going to stretch the design to the size to 3 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches to show you how this works. Since we let machine think this is regular hoop, the de design will not automatic turn 180 degrees. Make sure your design already been turned 180 degrees on edit page. Why cap friend? 
I will remove the bring holder. This There are many different kind of a head. You have to select which one is the best for you. If you are doing the monogram. It's a very soft that you can easy to bend it and easy to break in. Finish sewing, you can easy to bend it back. Close this, make sure the brain is go into this and uh, here you will, you will find another series of teeth and that's for you to catch the thin line, the brain and the front panel there's a thin line, it's for you to catch that. If you didn't catch that, when you stitch it, you will see like this. I saw many people like this, how do you hook like this? When machine moving, your position is losing, so you cannot do it that way. You have to do this way. And make sure the hoop is straight and tight. Close it like this. That's how you hook a head. Catching this line. Cap. This is uh, using for when you are using uh, cap frame drive. This will raise a little bit so when you stitch on the head, the head won't bounce in too much because bouncing will cause stitch quality very bad. So this is a very important for this one. You have to add this one. But many people there, their uh, cap is already broken. The reason why is that because when stitch is bouncing, sometimes will jump out. So maybe only one side, still inside, but actually it's already blocked the needle. So needle going down will hit this plastic, so cause it broken. So easy to fix this. You can using a tape. Let's see a tape. Going to Home Depot, you can buy the 3 n this type of uh, tape. <clears throat> it's on the painting section. Okay, so using one of this tape and uh, just trim a little bit. Very small one and then you just tape it when you're using this. This will help you to holding this cap and it's safe. That way you don't need to keep changing or buying the new one. So just like this, when you are stitching the cap, you're just doing like this and your cap will be safe. This part, 
Usually, when I use in this way, because it is very easy to hit machine, so I will change the point. Stitch point usually is like here. That's the top. Uh, that's the middle of design. When you click this, that's top of design. That means in the B top. Okay, so that way it's easier to install your cap. Okay, so right now because we are not sure how tall is this on this cap, so we have to make sure we are safe. So this is the way going to here. This is the way you can test it. Move a little bit to the top. And then let's go back to the screen. See the very button. So this is the very button. Let's see here. That's the very button. Okay, that's too close to the brain. Because in here, when the needle press foot press down, it's very easy to change the shape. So better we just go up a little bit. Okay, that's the closest. Okay, you can press down the needle press foot. So that will be safe. Let's see the top point. So right now, top point is here. We can go ahead to stitch this one. Okay, so let's go ahead to start. Okay, machine will ask you to change color, right? Right now, my white color is on number one, so no problem. Okay. So in this case, if your machine is a PR 650, 655, or a PR 670E. Then you can control the speed, it will be 400. But if you are using PR600 or PR620, then you probably can only use 600 speed. Okay, but doesn't matter. Make sure you understand, then you are safe. You understand your position, everything, then you are safe. Let's go ahead to stitch. show you this is 2.8 inches tall and the 3.06 inches wide design on a cap and we are using a white cap thread
many people they want to ask me how to do this. But you know, it's a very difficult to teach this uh, with. There are so many details I must be showing you before you really understand how to use this. Oh, by the way, if you worry about the squash like this, right now it's maybe hitting the machine. When close to here, you can put a tape using the same tag. VN. Put the tape to protect that. You can do like this way. That's a stop here and you put the tape. Take your head. by heating the machine cover. Okay, let's go ahead. Or you push to the end more, then you can get uh, even closer to the brain for test running to show you how to do this and uh, remember this is a building design I don't really like using building design because the quality of that is kind of like a, for someone doing hobby and uh, we are selling the hat we are using this to the business so you cannot sell this kind of uh, design to the customer, otherwise they will feel like a, you are just like a Mickey Mouse business, no good. If anyone can do this, then you better don't do that because uh, that's easy being copied. And if you are practicing on this, uh, at least I, I believe you are doing over 40, 50 hats and you get used to this and then you can just start a business just doing the head. English is my second language. If I'm using my original language, then you probably need to find someone to translate that. So in this case, 
I'm trying to teach you this way. But if you feel like uh, there's nothing you can understand, then better just quit and don't learn from me. You can find someone else. They can easily to teach you by their way and uh, much better. Okay. Okay, sounds like it's finished. Take this out. Remove this. And let's go back to here. <laughs> Now it's time to bend this back. You can do this way, okay? So bend this shape back to original. That's the design. Very close to the brim, you can see from here.